Have you ever seen a photo and gone WTF? Because I know I certainly have. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host Emily and today we're counting down our list of the top 10 dark and mysterious photos from the past that defy explanation. So buckle up and prepare to be confused. Number 10. Strange Lights since the 1940s and possibly even earlier, there has been a strange light phenomenon observed in the Hesdalen Valley, Norway. The spectacle has a form of white or yellow light of unknown origin standing or floating above ground level. Between 1981 and 1984, the lights were observed up to 20 times per week, but have drastically reduced in frequency since then, about 10 to 20 times per year. Now why the decrease all of a sudden? No one knows, and no one knows where the lights come from, but UFO enthusiasts took this as a sign that the valley was a portal to other worlds. Now it wasn't just conspiracy theorists that were interested in this as the strange bursts of light in the 1980s attracted physicists too, and quests piqued by the idea of some unexplained natural phenomenon. In the decades since, scientists have determined the glow likely comes from air turned into plasma, but despite ongoing research and numerous working hypotheses, there is no convincing explanation of the origin of these lights and it seems like it will always be a mystery. Number 9. Falling through the ceiling Back in the 1950s, the Cooper family from Texas moved into their new house. Once there, they took a family photo to commemorate the new move in. Everything was normal, but then when the picture was developed, the image of a body falling from the ceiling was clearly visible. Now to be clear, no one fell from the ceiling when they took the photo, so what happened? As further investigation on this story has brought no plausible explanation, there exists many speculations, including one that argues that the shadow is the ghost of a previous owner of the house. House. But my question is, why is he falling from the ceiling? It just doesn't make sense and it's absolutely terrifying and I can't even imagine the reactions when they got the photo back. Number 8. The Young Boy One of the most famous haunted houses in the United States is the Dutch Colonial House at 112 Ocean Avenue in Amityville, New York. The haunting stems from the night of November 13th, 1974, when 23 year old Ronald DeFeo ended the lives of all six members of his family. He was then arrested, convicted, and given given six concurrent life sentences. In December 1975, George and Kathy Lutz, along with their three children, moved into the house and claimed that spooky things were happening. For example, George would wake up at 3.15 every morning, which was the approximate time that Ronald committed his crimes. Kathy said she would feel a ghostly presence and be embraced by it. All of this and more caused the family to flee in fear after only staying at the house for 28 days, and honestly, I don't blame them. Due to this, demonologist Ed and Lorraine Warren visited the house and set up time lapse infrared cameras and caught this photo. Now, this picture wasn't made public until three years later when George Lutz appeared on the Merv Griffith show in 1979. Believers of the haunting believe that the photo is a picture of the youngest DeFeo son, John Matthew, who was nine at the time of the deaths. Others believe it's a staged photo, but despite the controversy, this picture is one of the most frightening images from the Amityville horror. Number seven, the Madonna with the Saint Giovannio. This is one of the most famous unexplained images of all time. The painting, The Madonna with the Saint Giovanni, was created in the 15th century. While the focus of the picture is on Mary, something creepy hovers above her left shoulder. There's an object that appears to be some sort of UFO hovering above the cliffs, and just below it you can see a man and his dog looking up at the saucer. Now why on earth would this be included in the painting? Is it proof that UFOs and aliens have been around for a long time and humans knew we weren't alone in the universe? I'm not sure what the explanation is but to be honest, it scares me. Number six, ghost outside. This ghostly figure was captured on a security camera at the Hampton Court, a royal palace located near the greater London area. In the 16th century, the palace was expanded and renovated to be fit for a king, complete with lush gardens, banquet halls, and Henry VIII's state and private apartments. This palace has over 1,390 rooms, but it seems like they had an unwanted visitor. A figure appeared to be closing one of the palace's doors, but when guards arrived to the palace, nobody was there. Now as the palace has a long and violent history, the figure is believed to be one of the several ghosts that are rumored to haunt the building. Number 5. The Sea Creature Hook Island is off the coast of Queensland, Australia, and Robert Le Serac, his family, and a friend, Hank De Jong, stayed there for three months in late 1964. On December 12, 1964, the Le Serecs and Hank were crossing Stonehaven Bay on the island when Robert's wife noticed something odd in the 
water. It was a long tadpole like creature. It was black and was believed that it was at least 30 feet long. Robert and Hank decided to venture into the water and record it on film. When they entered the water, the monster was even bigger than they thought, but as they started recording, the creature opened its mouth and swam away. Then when they checked the film, they had no footage of the creature, but the picture clearly shows it. The pictures were published in a magazine and eventually spread across the world, making it one of the most famous and unexplained pictures of a cryptid. Now there are a number of possible explanations as to what this creature really is. One is that it was just a plastic bag that had been used by the American Navy for experiments in towing fuel. It could be a deflated skyhook balloon covered in weeds, or it could be a roll of cloth that was tied together and placed in the bottom of the lagoon. Regardless of what it is, I wouldn't want to go near it. Number 4. The Moon In 1972, this image was taken by Apollo 17 during its flight to the moon near the area known as Geophone Rock. NASA listed this image as blank, but after retouching the photo, you can see that it's not completely blank. Turning up the contrast, a pyramidal structure can be seen. So what is it? Was it some malfunction of the camera, or is there actually a pyramid on the moon? NASA has never given a credible version of the issue, which has led to some speculations about what else can actually be on the moon hidden to public awareness. And listen, not to be a crazy conspiracy theorist, but maybe it's true that aliens built the pyramids on Earth as it looks like they did it on the moon too. And there was at one time NASA lost connection with an astronaut who was freaking out saying they're watching us from the moon, and what if the they they're talking about lives in those pyramids? Huh? Just something to think about. Number 3. South Forks Bridge This image was first made available to the public in 2004 when it was featured in the Barrelorn Pioneer Museum's exhibit, Their Past Lives Here. The photograph was taken in 1941 at the reopening of the South Fork Bridge in Canada. When the museum digitized and placed the collection online that included this picture in 2010, the internet went crazy. In the image, there is a man who clearly stands out, and many think he is a time traveler. The idea of him being a time traveler hinges on three items he is seen wearing or holding that appear to be of too modern a vintage for the 1940s, a logo shirt, a small portable camera, and wraparound sunglasses. It just seems like he's completely out of place, but who knows? Number 2. Ghost in the Water In 2014, Kim Davidson was swimming in a lake with a friend and their combined three children. They went to Murphy's Hole in Lockyer River in Queensland, Australia. While there, they took a photograph. But when the photograph came out, there was a ghostly figure of a girl behind the group who looked like she was leering behind the family. They said there was nothing in between them when the photo was taken, and on closely examining the image, they realized it was a white face with dark eyes and two horns on either side of the head. Its fingers are on Kim's shoulder and on the small girl's right arm. Kim posted it on Facebook, and upon seeing the image, many comments were made, and some said that the two horns looked like two ponytails or buns. A fellow user shared the story of Doreen O'Sullivan, a girl who accidentally drowned in the same creek in the same spot in 1913. Her obituary was found in the Brisbane Courier, dated the 22nd of November 1913. Now, the spot, which has always been considered dangerous, is known as Murphy's Hole and is over 20 feet deep. Deep. Upon reading this, Kim recollected that they had experienced strange things that day when they were swimming in the water. She felt someone's presence behind her, but she ignored it, and twice someone in the water even grabbed her elder daughter's leg. Now, by looking at this photo, she was convinced that the unknown face was that of Doreen. Kim got two paranormal experts to check the picture, and after investigating the photograph carefully, they concluded that the shape of the image was that of a child. And coming in at number one, the babushka lady. The woman in the brown coat, or the babushka lady, as she was later called by the FBI, was very close to JFK when he was a in Dallas. Traveling in a presidential motorcade through downtown Dallas, JFK was a hit once in the back and once in the head. Kennedy was taken to Parkland Hospital for emergency medical treatment, where he was pronounced dead 30 minutes later. Now, Lee Harvey Oswald was charged with Kennedy's assassination, which he denied. Oswald was as well soon after. Now, the spawned numerous conspiracy theories. These theories allege the involvement of the CIA, the Mafia, Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson, Cuban Prime Minister Federal Castro, the KGB, or some combination of these individuals and entities. The original FBI investigation and Warren Commission report, as well as the alleged benign CIA cover-up. But according to eyewitnesses, this woman, the babushka lady, filmed the entire thing. It's thought that from her vantage point, she may have been able to answer some critical questions 
about what really happened that day. However, the FBI was never able to track her down, and no one has since been able to figure out the identity of this mystery observer. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 dark and mysterious photos from the past that defy explanation. What do you think about these photos? Let us know your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there. I'm your host Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.